Hi, my name is Rick and welcome to another guitar video. Um, last time we talked about uh, chord shapes and the way we can play the same chord in different shapes all over the neck. For example, the C chord can be played like this, just as an, uh, an open chord. Uh, you can also play it in an A shape. And you can also play it in the E shape. And you can also play it in the D shape. And each of these shapes have a, has a different tonal quality. So I'm going to play um, a backing track in C major. And I'm just going to play the different chord shapes. And sometimes I'm going to pick the whole chord and sometimes I'm just going to pick a few notes. And sometimes I'm going to embellish the chord a bit um, by playing things that you probably already know. I'm not going to make this too difficult, but I'm just going to show you that playing the same chord in different positions can be enough to give the impression that you are playing along with the song and you know what you're doing. So here goes, this is the backing track and I'll show you how I approach it um, by just playing the chords in the different shapes. If this were um, a new song, I would try to find the root note. Let's just see. So this is the way that I um, that I did it. I just used one chord, played it in different positions up the neck, and it gives the impression of um, playing along and not being boring. I can play the C chord like that all the time, but that would become boring real fast. And uh, so playing it in different positions can help you out. And you'll also get a feel for which strings and which frets are uh, related. Uh, for instance, if I play uh, the C chord here, then you'll notice that these two notes, those notes are in, in that position. If I play the C chord over here, then I can also play just these two notes. And these two here, and these two here, they're octaves. So these same notes can be played an octave apart. And if I play the octave down of this uh, particular note, which is on the fifth fret on the third string, on the D string, if I play it an octave down, then it's this note here. So, and I can do the same thing here with the, with the 5th fret on the 4th string, on the D string. So that will expand my range of notes. I know that this is the C note, I can play this one, I can play that one, that one, these, and that one there. So the trick here is to realize that each chord, wherever you play it, Each version, each shape of the chord has notes that are interchangeable, that are the same notes but sometimes an octave up. So it's very useful for you to know which notes are in a certain chord and where you can find them on the guitar neck. Start maybe with two or three notes and try to figure out where they are, where you can play them, in which position 
uh, and where their octaves are. Perhaps maybe also try to play a note on the guitar neck and um, try to play it on uh, different strings. So the same note on different strings. You'll find that they have a different sound. And one thing, one other thing that I did was uh, vary the rhythm. I used different different rhythmic patterns, which also makes it uh, a bit more interesting. For instance, if I play these five notes, that in itself isn't very interesting to listen to. However, when I change the rhythm, uh, it will become more interesting. And remember, these are just the same five notes. Now this is what you can perhaps call phrasing and uh, the way I like to think of it uh, is as if it's uh, uh, someone playing a trumpet. He can only play so many notes before he has to breathe again. So it's natural for us to, uh, to have a certain amount of notes and then a rest. So if you're playing a couple of notes, uh, try to think of it in your head as if you were singing them and you have to stop playing to take a breath. And after you've taken your breath, you can continue to play. That'll make things more natural. And uh, you can also incorporate that in your playing and in your phrasing. So these are pretty advanced things to talk about right now, but it's good to, to, to know about them. And try to keep things simple for yourself. Don't... Um, don't overdo it if you if you feel comfortable just playing this one note and you just got to play that one note and try to make that sound good that's okay so now you know how to play along with a song in a major key using just the chord shapes that we've talked about um, thank you very much for watching I hope this has been informative and interesting for you if you have any questions or remarks please put them in the comments and uh, uh, for now Thanks for watching, hope to see you in the next video and keep on playing! Mm -hmm.